I'm Julia Gray. I'm a photographer here in Vegas, and this is how I live. Pe people come here for two reasons, I noticed. To be found or to be lost. I'm the, I'm the, the former. I'm here to be found. That's why I left North Adams, Mass. When I live, that's where I lived before, right before I came here. Um, I needed a bigger stage to be heard and to be seen, and it's worked out. So I'm very grateful. I was born in 1964, which was the unofficial start of the Vietnam War. Um, it was also the height of the Civil Rights Movement. There was a lot of trauma and drama. Um, fortunately, I was gifted with a strong sense of survival, a strong sense of self and love. I discovered at nine years old, so in 1973, what I was being trans. There were no words. It was scary. It was very scary. Transgender people at an early age, four, eight, twelve, when, like me, they don't have the words, they don't have the coping skills, it is the worst time to get hit with this. And then it's compounded by people who won't talk about it, or people who will deny, deflect, and all the other things that come with it. People who will tell you you're an abomination before the eyes of God and humanity. It's been told to me before. And how do you deal with that as a child? I use my photography and my writing to enlighten, elucidate, educate, and teach. It starts with a simple premise that perspective is the first link in a chain that leads to love. You start with perspective, which leads to understanding. Understanding leads to tolerance. You know, it's the, well, I don't like what they do but I know why, and it sucks, but it's okay. That's the tolerance. Tolerance leads to acceptance. Acceptance leads to love. It all starts with opening your mind and letting somebody else's vision creep in. My work visually can be shocking. It can be a lot of things like that. My job is to talk about the things we don't talk about childhood sexual abuse, mental illness, PTSD, the outrages of being transgender. So all of those things for me personally. And then there's my experiences growing up in the 60s and 70s. Race relations. We couldn't even call it relations then. It was almost war. A word could burn down a neighborhood. It's, it's given me a ton of material. Portraiture has taught me that every human being possesses some form of beauty and intelligence. And if I don't see it, that's my failing. Really, virtually anything will inspire me. I never know where it's going to come from. So I keep my eyes open. For me, it's about the human experience and the human figure. And that's where I've landed now. I'm very grateful for that. Okay, so I'm a bad person to give advice about trans anything. Because like I say, for 45 years, I thought, I got this. I don't need to transition. Ah, I don't need to transition. You know, I got this. I'm, I'm good. I've, I've handled this. I've handled that. I've handled this other thing. I can do this, right? No. Um, I found myself a year and a half ago um, ready to commit suicide at 54. I knew at nine, that's 45 years of handling it. It didn't work. You can't live without hope. You just can't live without hope. So if I have any advice to them, it's love yourself unconditionally always. Forgive yourself and do the best you can and hold on because it gets old better as you get older. And we need you. We need all of you. 
We don't have enough of us transgender people because if we did, we wouldn't have the problems we do with being trans. You're important. If you're like me, then you can say, life is a beautiful tragedy. We all die in the end. But if we're lucky, it's beautiful.